how to rebuild your primary panel in XFCE. I just had a crash here a little while ago and I had to rebuild this so I figured I'd show you how to do it. So as long as you have access to your desktop you can go to applications by right clicking, go to settings and then down to panel. And then that'll open up the panel window and you can start rebuilding. Now I already have a panel 1 so I'm going to create a panel 4. And here it is. And you can put your length to 100 so it goes across the entire window. And of course you can lock it, etc. Span your monitors, blah blah blah. And then we need to start adding items. So if we click the little plus symbol. So applications menu. You'd think that would be this one, right? Wrong. It's a different type of menu. You want Whisker menu. So the Whisker menu is this menu. So add it. But it looks different. This is the real. This is the one with the system. You'll notice the uh, stuff is on the left, and the sub menus are on the right. But on this one, it's the reverse of that. Well, you need to, need to configure that. You can right click and go to the properties, and you can change the, the label of the button here, but you want to go to uh, behavior, and you want to position your search entry, search entry next to the panel button. So it's now at the bottom instead of being at the top. If we undo it, you can notice it was up top. So that's how you uh, change the position of that. And then you want to position your categories next to the panel button to revert the left right and these buttons here if you want with this option can be moved down to the bottom if you want and then you get some options here for your ignoring favorites or the number to a display you can even modify some commands and search actions here but you've pretty much now rebuilt your button and you can click on the icon to change what the icon is. So if I want to use the eyes instead, I can do that. Okay, so that's your menu. Okay, well we're also gonna have a clock. Let's see. We're going to have an indicator. We're going to have a notifications area. Now my notifications area is already down here on my first panel. That's why it's grayed out. But when you're rebuilding it, that'll be there and you'll be able to select it and put it on. And an indicator plugin. So this is the indicator plugin. We do have a places icon here on my menu, so I'm going to add one. Now you notice the clock here, if I move it to the bottom of the list, doesn't go over to the right. That's because it, there needs to be a separator to shove it to the right, and that's what the separator does. So let's add the separator. And then you can right click on the separator, and go to properties and tell it to expand and voila your clock is shoved over to the right now here we have a green icon for show desktop so let's add that and we also have a terminal command now there is a verve command line here but that's not the same thing you want to go back up add a launcher configure the launcher and you want XFCE terminal. And I moved it over, so there we go. The applications. 
show a hide, and um, I think we've already got the places. Let's move the places over. And Thunar, so let's add Thunar. Again, add a launcher. Okay, so I now have the apps, terminal, show hide, Thunar, places. Okay, I need open program windows. So open program windows. It's either the Windows buttons or it's the Windows menu. I think it's Windows buttons. Yes, it is. So let's move that up. Okay, so uh, da -da -da, indicators are going to go down. Okay, there we go. So we have the apps, we have terminal, we have show hide, Thunar, the places, the open program windows, and then we have the indicator and the clock. So there's the clock, there's the indicators. Now I have not got notification area because it's only allowed on one panel. But now I also have a few programs here. So if I want to add those, I basically add them mostly through launchers. But here's the system load monitor, which I believe is uh, the same as that. No, oh, not the same as that. So we'll remove that. Yep, so everything else is going to have to be a launcher. So I've got one, two, three things to add. Okay, so first launcher. Let's make that the firewall. Uh, the next launcher is, is the display. And the last item task manager. There we go. Okay, so now I have the, those items, I just have to move them to the same positions. roughly the same positions. Okay, so we have the clock and the clock, we have the indicator plugins, indicator plugins, display, display, firewall, firewall, task manager, task manager, and the white knight one item I'm only allowed to have on one panel. So there we go, we have recreated the panel. Now of course this panel is different in appearance. Uh, we can change the row sizing to make it bigger or smaller to try and match it. So I think I have mine set at about 32 and then you can uh, place it and lock it, etc. So that's how you can recreate your bottom panel in XFCE if it ever crashes out on you.